Are you just getting started crabbing for the very first time? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how you can set up your crab traps and what exactly you can use to catch some crab. Hi, my name is Jamie Peth with Anglers Unlimited, where we help you catch more fish and have more fun on the water. If you like videos like these, make sure you follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, and better yet, sign up for our email list on our website. Link will be in the video description. So let's dive right in. All right, there's two kind of crab traps that we have, that we use. Um, these ones are the ones I prefer, and I'll make sure to link um, the actual manufacturer below in the video description, but they're really nice. They are made out of rebar wrapped in um, rubber, um, and that actually gives the pot some weight on its own, so you don't have to add any weight to the pot. And then the mesh is stainless steel. So what I really like about these pots is they're just simple and heavy. Um, you're gonna have a bait container right in the center and that's where you're gonna put your bait and ideally honestly go to the store and get the cheapest chicken you can find with a lot of fat and a lot of skin on it that stuff works awesome or if you have salmon carcasses from your season those work amazing as well so don't throw away your salmon carcasses what I do is I actually take just the little sandwich bag plastic bags and I'll chop up my sandwich or <laughs> I'll chop up my salmon carcasses into sizes that fit into that little bag and then I'll freeze that bag and then right before I'm dropping my crab pots I have these nice little crab sickles and you can just pull off the plastic pop it in the in the bait container and you're good to go with not out much mess um, so then you want to make sure your pot has leaded line on it and this one has about 70 feet ideally throw 100 on there depending on how deep you're crabbing we crab pretty shallow so you know this is fine and you can see I don't even have a bridle on this pot I just have it clipped on with a carabiner crabbing is super super simple don't overcomplicate it just get it done um, so you just put your leaded line on there absolutely use leaded do not use anything but leaded line I'm gonna say that 14 times because I've seen what happens when a boat runs over nylon line. It's not fun and it's very expensive. Um, so once you have your leaded line and your bait in there, make sure everything's secure. And then always before you go crabbing, ch check the doors. So you're gonna see these ramps um, on this particular pot. There's two different ramps and they have little flaps on them which keep the crab from leaving. And sometimes those doors will get snagged on um, parts of the pot. So just double check that the doors are not snagged on anything before you actually drop them down. And then once you drop your pot, um, you're gonna use a float on the other end and you have to have a red and white float. We really like this setup, it's pretty handy, but you can literally just use the float by itself. You, you don't have to have this fancy setup, but it works really well for us. So basically we have another carabiner on this side, which we will attach to our line and then there's a small leaded weight that is just zip tied to this rope right here and that actually holds this upright so when you're actually coming to retrieve your pots it's really easy to just grab the top handle and pull it over the side and pull it in um, we just have a piece of pvc pipe and you take a washer it's a very easy setup you just take a washer on either side um, slide it on, drill a little hole in the side of the PVC and put a bolt through there and screw it on and that'll keep your float from moving up and down your PVC pipe. A lot of people will tape different colors on here as well. It just makes identifying your pot a lot easier. Um, always make sure you have your name and address on the pot so it's it can be identified and sent back to you if for any reason it floats away. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. The other type of pots that are really popular are these. These are just those folding pots. They're very lightweight. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like them. Uh, we tend not to fish them, we just have them. We, we just have them still, but they're, they're very lightweight and they don't hold up very well. You can easily get a couple seasons out of them and it's way less cost, um, but you're gonna need to replace them for sure. And if you do get these pots, make sure you weight them. You definitely need to weight these things. They're just too light on their own. So keep that in mind when you're purchasing your pots of which one you decide to go with. 